Okay, so I've got my model uh, UV mapped, mirrored. All right, first thing I need to do, text porter. 512 by 512. You want polygon fill, turn off, edges, turn off, uh, back face cull, turn off mark overlaps, and I want it set to face normals. Pick object. There's my... Uh, save this as normal. Make sure it's a targa. And say 32-bit. You definitely want the alpha channel. Close that out. Alright, now I've got... Ne next I'm going to get my PSD path unwrapper available from scriptspot.com. Um, I've got it set to control U. Brings it up. I want a 512 by 512. I want to put it in here and call it wire. Black background. All the settings should work fine. Unwrap to PSD. Oh, gotta pick the object. Unwrap to PSD. All done. All right. Over to Photoshop. File open. normal and wire. Okay, go into channels, click on alpha, so now you've only got the normals. Control, shift, oh sorry, alright. I'm going to the alpha channel and one of the things that you can do if you hold down control, see how it changes to a little hand with a uh, square on it, it will give you that layer, or that the selection of what's on that layer. So now I can hold down control for cut, shift, so that it stays centered, and drag it over here. If you don't select, hit shift, it'll be off center, and it won't be lined up. So control, shift, drag, kill the normals. And now go into paths, and the PSD path and wrapper has given me the a vector version of the wires. Perfect. Alright, now I've got an action set up and we can set up a new one to show you how it works. New. Call it flatten. Record. Alright, now I want this to say file, save as, change it to a targa, Call it Funge. 32 bit. Okay. Stop. Okay, so now I've got my save uh, dialog. Every time you start a new file, it's still going to be set to the last save. So you want to double click it and uh, point to your new directory and what you want it to be called. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is go to, uh, let's see. Playback option. Uh, what's it called? But what you want to do when you get it all made is go to this is my old one action options, and I've got it set to F10. So every time I hit F10, Sorry about that. Apparently Camtasia's F10 is set to stop. So, all right, now every time I hit F10, it will play the action. So, the reason why you want to do that is because Photoshop is a fickle, fickle uh, program that likes to um, well, it's a, it's a sometimes your PSDs can get really large and what will happen is Max's uh, bitmap manager will try and go for the file in the middle of your uh, Photoshop save and so Photoshop is trying to save the PSD Max is trying to load the new changed version that you just are trying to save and they'll fight over the file for about 45 seconds until Photoshop finally says I give and you'll get an error in Max and you still won't have your file up. 
So if you ever get your file over a certain size, your PSDs, which this one definitely will be, it's best to use a flattened target because Photoshop can save it faster than Max can recognize that the file's been messed with. All right, so bring up my oh, it's way over there. Make a file bitmap that uses orange. I'm going to set self illumination to 100 and tell it to use Also going to tell this to have vertex colors. So now there is no shading going on except for what I've painted. Back to Photoshop. All right. First thing I'm going to do is pick up my Wacom. All right. I want to lay out block out the colors. So I'm going to make a new folder and call it skin. Control shift N gives you a new layer and it brings up the dialog box. I'm going to call this color. Control plus minus sign on the number pad zooms in. Now pretty much everything is skin, so let me go ahead and call this chest. I'm going to grab a rough selection of everything. Normally none of these dialog boxes are on this screen, they're all on my second one, but Camtasia would slow my computer down to a crawl. I know I should probably use the lasso tool on this. Hit tab will hide everything so you can go ahead and select your... Alright, tab to bring it back. Now here's the cool thing about why we made this normal map layer. Hit, hold down control, alt, shift, and click and it will narrow the selection to just what was inside of that selection on that layer, as opposed to control clicking on the layer, which gives you everything. All right, now I'm going to hit bring this up. mask. It gives me a mask. If you hold down shift and click on the mask, it, oh, sorry, if you hold down alt and click on the mask, it will show you the contents of your mask. So now the only thing I can paint on is right there. All right, color. I like to keep this thing rather big. Now my favorite colors are all from here down to here. I don't really like yellow that much. I don't like red. It's blue and green are the best ones in my opinion. Um, and I've decided I want a relatively nice little greenish color. All right, Alt-Delete will give me a fill there. Oh, for, totally forgot about this. All right, so say you just, let me get rid of this discard layer. So I've just clicked on the uh, area here. Now what I want to do, you'll notice in Max that you have seams. That's because Max is filtering the uh, pixels and it's taking this black that lies right on the edge of the uh, wireframe and it's letting the black filter in. So I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to say select, modify, expand, two pixels. That's more than enough. Now I'm going to make the mask out of that. So I hit F10, go over to max. F10 should be Saving over the wrong one. Targa Fund. Yes. Yes. There we go. 
now you'll notice there is no seam on the green part. All right. Now, I want to modulate this uh, green sum before I even add anything else in it with, and if you hit X, it will switch your foreground and background color. I want to keep that green in for a little while. I'm going to grab a blue. Yeah, those two work well together. All right, now, to get the paths showing, you hold down control, or sorry, you show the paths once per time you open the, uh, the file. Now when they get annoying and you want to hide them, you hit control H and they will go away. Now notice the difference between this and using TextPorter to give you your wireframe. These wires, even zoomed in at the full 1600%, are perfect, only one pixel wide, so you know exactly where the wireframe is. Here you can see that where TextPorter gives you is inaccurate. It goes in, it goes out. The other benefit is while the wireframe is showing, you can hit F10 to get your saved version, and there are no white lines over here. If you use a text porter wireframe, it will give you white lines because that's how it works. All right, so tab to get rid of my, and I want anything that is below Oh, the other thing is I am going to hit the, the keys on the number pad uh, control the opacity of your brush. And opacity is right above the top of this uh, capture, so you can't see it. But when I hit 4, it changes the opacity to 40%. Um, I've got the brush set uh, to be totally soft. Um, I've got under other dynamics, I've got the opacity controlled by pen pressure. Under shape dynamics, I've got pen pressure controlling the size, but the minimum diameter it can get is about 40%. I don't like it going down to a one pixel line. And let me turn smoothing off. So this is most of the time how I use my brush. And like I said, the I've got opacity set to 40%, so the maximum it can go to is 40. All right, just gonna play around, adding a little bit of color. seems too much for right now. Let me add a little bit to here. There we go. All right, now I want the leg. Enter will finish your thing, and then I'm going to hold down Alt, and that will subtract from my selection. Tab will bring it back. Control, Alt, Shift, holding all three down. Click on the layer. It narrows it to this selection. Select, Modify, Expand, 2. Control, Shift, N will give me a new layer, and it brings up the layer options. If you say Control, Shift, Alt N, it will just make a new layer called layer four or whatever, and you won't have to name it. So if you know you're gonna flatten it down, you're not gonna use it, you don't need to label it, just use Control Alt Shift N. If you wanna bring up the layer properties right here, then use Control Shift N. And I get such long uh, names. I also always use everything lowercase, no spaces, just underscores. Just because in the rare occurrence of a hard drive crash or I want to try and recover this, it's more likely to come back if it's all Linux or Unix compatible. All right, add the mask. So now we can see the mask works nice. Going to hit X, Alt, Delete. We'll 
fill the entire layer. Now the reason why I didn't just hold that selection and then fill it with that and not worry about uh, the mask is because now if I paint some, uh, let's put some blue right here and say I want to smudge, all right? I can now smudge fine and it pulls green in because there's actually green up here. I just shift clicked on the layer, the mask to hide it. I can smudge the blue off. I can smudge it back on, and it, there's there's not nothing here. Had I just had I right clicked or apply layer mask. Okay, so see now it's just this is all that's on the layer. Now when I smudge, look at that. See, you can't. There's nothing up here. So it's much better. Control Z, Control Alt Z will go back in your. Uh, history that's like the undo it keeps going back every single time all right so i'm gonna go back to before there we go holding down space will give you the uh the hand tool oh the other cool thing if you are in the marquee selection and say you started it in the wrong place hold down space bar and it will let you drag it to a new area and finish dragging. It works the same with the line tool, which is U. I can move it around until I get it right where I want it. Uh, M is for marquee. Shift M changes it to the circle marquee. So any shortcut like B for brush, Shift B changes to pencil, Shift B back to brush, cycles through it. Right, zoom out a little bit, control minus sign, tab to hide everything. All right, I want a little bit of uh, blue. Actually, it doesn't look like my pressure sensitivity is working, so I'm going to restart real quick. Let me save this first, control alt s. Save this as unleash. 